All right, we'll go over, we have a nice gold trade, the NQ trade here. First of all, what do we do? The first order of business is we want to what? We want to find the trend of the market. The best way to find the trend of the market, guys and gals, is look at the Magenta MA. This is very simple. I don't care. This works on all futures, all stocks, all Forex, all currency. So we want to find the trend first. I don't care where market profile is at. I don't care where market delta or my arrows are at. You want to look at the Magenta MA. If it's angled down, which it was this morning, see the angle? Just angle down. We're slowly grinding lower. You want to sell, you want to be a, sell, a retracement seller. So you want to look for shorts. When the market came up here on the NASDAQ futures, up here, I got three market profiles. Got my solid red, solid blue, solid green. Solid green is low value area. Solid blue, that's the most volume that's traded in that instrument for the session. Solid red is high value. All the red lines are high value. All the green lines are low value. I only have one blue line for the control point, which is the most volume traded. You got three shots at taking shorts in a downtrend. One, you sell red. Two, you break retest blue or break retest green. Okay? If you're in a downtrend. The market came up. It came up to high value area. I had a triple stack wall. There's three profiles that I have. I have volume profile. That's my solid green level, solid blue, solid green. That's the most important. That trumps all profiles, all of them. I want to see that involved when I'm trading because that trumps every single profile in the room. My second profile I have is my developing profile, the thin red, thin green. That's developing profile. My third least important is price profile. Those are my red dots and green dots. If I see them stacked, look at my little box here, if I see them stacked within a few ticks of each other, now this is, this is not even really stacked real close, close. Like gold, I'll show you, it's stacked right on top of each other. But you can tell that that's an area of resistance. So that is a short opportunity because we're in a downtrend. Comes up here, watch for negative market delta on the bottom right. Bottom right, wait till it closes negative market delta. Enter the trade, stop loss two ticks above that swing high. Wait for the first push, scale 50%. Try to see if the runner can run. So then what happened? I come back down to low value area. I know I'm in what? I'm in a downtrend, been downtrending. I want to look for a break retest. All right? So in downtrends, you want to look for V-tops, a V-top. And then you want to look for a break retest. There's your break. It's a simple ABC pattern. There's your retest, and there's your continuation short. Now, what happened here, right? What happened was we came into the low value area, the control point, and then we're going to look for negative market delta. That's what you're going to do. At that retracement, my arrows fired here. Look at my arrows fired. My arrows will fire in an area of major Inflection point meaning a major reversal area. So when those arrows fire, it's a possible top or bottom. If you use longer term time frames, the arrows are notorious for calling session highs and session lows. So when you lease the program, you will see that you have a possible reversal right here. Now this is a shorter time frame, but long time frames, it could come right at the session high or session low. It happens all the time. But this is a shorter time frame of trade. I'm trading off the of five Simrico here. So their arrows fired at the retracement of the brick wall. Now look at my triple stack low value area. I had volume profile here called the lows. Old support becomes new resistance. My developing profile is there. And also had my right there price profile. They're all stacked. So you can see the stack area not only called the high here, it broke, retested, got the arrows, and look at my negative market delta. Negative market delta fire myself in the trade. Fire myself in the trade right there. Came down, pause the market delta, scale contracts off, see if the runner can hold this thing can get with some legs, and come down to my price profile as a price target all the way down here if possible. 67.94. All right, 
what if you get in and it flips on you? Because it did it with an, on an on a M top this time. This first arrow popped up, and then it, it you got positive market delta. If that comes up, when you get negative market delta, you want to see the next bar negative market delta. If it turns positive, green, take a small profit, a small loss. Take a couple ticks in and out. Wait to see if it's going to end top on you or not, which it did, negative market delta, and went down. But this one had red market delta and was red all the way down. She was red all the way down. So you can, you can let market delta, the bottom right, guide you in and out of these markets with low risk. Go to gold, Gerald. Let's look at gold. Gold, let's take a look at it, was a triple stack wall. Remember, I only have three profiles. My three profiles, here's a short. Good job, Earl. Earl caught this short right here at this inflection point. Why did he catch that short? It broke inside of HVA. It retested HVA. He knows the methodology that it weakened the market. Earl got short right there at the high. Good job, buddy. That's how you trade the system, all the way down to low value. Then low value, Earl, did you get that low and low value? Let's see if Earl got the low. Earl, did you buy the low, low value area, buddy? Yep, there you go. Earl bought the low. You wonder why he does over 100 ticks in the room on a consistent basis with gold, crude, and the Russell 2000. Because he's trading off value areas. So right here, why did Earl get the short? It's high value area. Broke back inside, weakened, retested, negative market delta. He, would, he could see that the magenta MA is flat. We're in a range of markets. Sell the high, buy the low. But look at the wall of support down here. I got my volume profile, which is solid green. That's the most important. I got my thin developing profile. And then I got my price profile right over here. That's a triple stack wall. So when it came down there to it, he would look for what? Look for a positive market delta. So what do we get right here at 833? Right there, we got a positive market delta. So what do we do? There's your entry right at that swing low right there on delta. All right, so that was our entry. Where's our stop? Our stop is two ticks below the swing low. So your entry is on delta because it came into a triple stack. Your stop loss is two ticks below that swing low. And you just got a great trade right there all the way up into what? High value area again. So not only did you take this swing, you took the swing down. You had a swing down from this swing high to this swing low. You took it from coast to coast, straight back up from low value to high value area again. All right. You're utilizing, you're utilizing my market profile and my market delta to fire in trades, and the arrows tell you the sweet spot where to get in. Are you over 100 ticks again today, Earl? Nice job, man. Good job, buddy. All right, Gerald, switch over to, uh, to uh, Nasdaq Futures again. All right, so before we shut this off, take a look at it. We got into resistance again, right? I mean, up into resistance. There was our resistance because there's our wall. Those are your big sell areas. Why? Three market profile stack on top of each other in a downtrend. Three market profile stack on top of each other in a downtrend. And you see how the market responds. And that's not luck. That's not chance. That's just how the market works. That's the internals of the market. Because that volume profile indicator, that thick red, blue, and green line, will dictate order flow in the market. I do not use small 30-minute market profiles. I don't use VWAP profiles, all these ridiculous profiles. I use standard volume profile on a larger time frame to pick inflection points. And just like it did yesterday on the NASDAQ futures, it stopped the tick on our buy. It just did it and stopped the tick at the control point for the short. You just got to use it with market delta to help you out to control the trade. So this last arrow that fired off here, last arrow, you got to make sure negative market delta confirms it. Negative market delta confirmed it. Everything married up nice. There's negative market delta. 
you get a nice continuation trade into the wall. What's my target? All the way down to 67.94. All right. How about gold? Gerald, go back to gold real quick, and we're going to shut this off. Let's look at gold. Gold, we had low value area right here. Gerald, switch back to gold real quick, man. We're going to shut this off. There's gold all the way up to high value area. And what's it doing? You better be bailing or scaling contracts, right? You're at high value. You're not at a, strip, a triple stack wall, but you're in a flat market, negative market delta. You should be out 75% of your contracts. Okay?